My name is Umri. Yeah, I am the trainer of Long Beach Khmer Boxing from 1987. I've known this gym my entire life. My dad, he, I've always known him as the kickboxer, the kickboxing master. He's an incredibly humble man, and he's also incredibly proud of what he has. He seems like a simple person to many people, but there's nothing simple to how he got here. Before escaping to the US, my dad was the national champion of Cambodia from 1963 to 1975. He's never been knocked out once. He's won about 270 of his fights, and he had everything. I mean, he was the king. He had success, money, fame, fortune, and then all of that disappeared in an instant. In 1975, the Khmer Rouge took over Cambodia. They also referred to that time period as Year Zero because the Khmer Rouge wanted to completely erase and destroy everything that was before them. For my dad, he went from being the national champion of Cambodia, fighting in the ring, to suddenly fighting for his life every day, alongside millions of other Cambodians. Yeah, everything stopped, yes sir. No sport, no market, no everything. We don't know the Khmer Rouge, what they do to us. I look like my feeling, I know they will kill people. Famous, big name, teacher, governor, you know, they kill all. But I sleep day after day, I think tomorrow they kill me. Tomorrow I, they kill me. I sing every night. When I sleep, tomorrow I die. I see sometimes, you know, the body, sometimes see the blood. Yeah, I think, oh, they kill every day. I don't know how he did it. I don't know how he was able to keep moving forward, pushing forward, and was able to maintain sanity. But somehow he did. When I come here, I go to heaven, just so happy when I come to the United States. I got open the gym in 1987, and I started teaching at that time. When I think about my rules, I wear I'm very, very sad about it because I lose all my brother, my mom, you know, a lot of friends. I am feel like my, 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 my story, I am very lucky when I no die, like Khmer Rouge don't kill me. In, in Cambodia, in my country, get, everybody know me, but when I hear, nobody know me, we're America people, you know. For the most part, no one knows about my dad's dark past, but that doesn't stop him from doing what he loves, and that's kickboxing. Kickboxing is his life now at 78, and it was his life at 14. And that's what I love most about my dad, is how passionate he is. He puts his heart in everything that he does. It's okay because I'm no rich, I'm no famous, but I'm so happy in my life right now. Because I got my student, I got my gym and family. I love my life. I love, you know, my family, everything, you know, like that. Yes, sir. So I'm so happy right now.